The government of Sierra Leone declares tourism as a source of economic diversification. In its quest to make Sierra Leone the world's leading tourism destination, the Ministry of Tourism and Culture and the Sierra Leone Tourist Board, in partnership with the Global Economic Institute, are now engaged in the Sierra Leone tourism investment and promotion in Canada. Part of the visit is to ensure that they meet with the Canadian tourist sector and promote tourism in Sierra Leone together with other investors as a way of boosting the tourist sector in Sierra Leone. Wherever it takes place in the world, there is one trusted news source you can get all the happenings, unadulterated and unfettered, AYV. AYV International brings you full coverage of the Minister and her delegation to showcase the country's beauty and the latest tourism potentials in Canada. The organisers have finally met with the tourism delegation from Sierra Leone. Uh, of course, you know, we have when it comes to nature, wildlife, when it comes to island beaches, when it comes to culture, uh, when it comes to heritage. So what we are really trying to do is actually now to start to expose uh, the potentials of Sierra Leone to the rest of the world and to see how we can be able to partner and work on international development programs that can bring tourism so that we can be able to ensure that uh, we get the best of it. So that's really where we are. So we have this potential but it's still untapped. So that is why we are here with our Canadian friends and of course with the Canadian government so that we can start to talk about different aspects of tourism. From a number of publications, whether it's Elle or Lonely Planet or Rough Guides, Sierra Leone has been named as one of the top new destinations, basically focused upon uh, its beautiful, pristine nature, its beaches, its tremendous wildlife, and its unique Salonian culture. It's, it's really you know, connecting business, academia, government, uh, bringing those sectors together to help make that happen. So it involves training and certification on the ground in Africa for economic development and for, um, you know, there's research, there's policy and so on. And, and really that's what's behind it. Uh, it's a great vision and, uh, you know, working with Africans in Africa. Tune in to Channel 33, log on to www.ayvnews.com and follow us on all our different social media platforms to get all the twists and turns, blow by blow, of the Minister's visit to Canada live. AYV International's dedicated team stands ready to unpack the events in Canada. AYV goes beyond borders.